February is Black History Month, and all month long we've been telling you about stories that highlight the achievements, trials, and triumphs of African Americans here in our community. Now, A.J. Moore High School opened in Waco in 1875, educating thousands of black students, many of them graduating and going on to doing bigger and better things before the school shut down in 1971. I sat down with some of the former students to talk about how they're fighting to keep the legacy alive. You wouldn't want to miss school because... You can have so much fun at school, <laughs> you know, then being in home, you can be sick. I'm going to school. Timeless photos and precious memories. This is me when, when we was doing uh, homecoming, <laughs> homecoming week. Yeah. Not much is left to remember Waco's first black high school following the Civil War. It was amazing to be a part of that and knowing that I was there. Years ago, this area here off of University Parks Drive and Clay Avenue once belonged to A.J. Moore High School, educating more than 4,000 students, many graduating and continuing on to successful careers. This is Eddie Bernice Johnson, a member of Congress. Linda Chappelle Beffley attended A.J. Moore during the late 1960s. But that she is right there. Yep, that's me. She says A.J. Moore was a safe space and a pillar for the black community at a time our country was deeply divided. Whether it be basketball, football, the community came out and to support. During her sophomore year, all that changed. After nearly a century, A.J. Moore closed its doors in 1971. A.J. Moore is gone. You know, this was like burying someone. In 1972, Waco ISD opened Jefferson Moore High School, one of the first integrated schools in the city. I think it's a burden because the way they just took away the school and made it another name. Linda and her Jefferson Moore classmate, Daryl Cobb, says it felt like they were forced into situations no one wanted. It started out real ugly. Yeah, it did. You know, we're talking about fights. Uh, you know, we don't want you at our school. Go back to your school. But the class of 74 graduates says the tensions only lasted for a semester. We started talking to one another, and that made the difference. We didn't have our parents or other principals. We built those relationships with each other. The wall shattered, and the two sides became one. It was a family thing. It was just like every day was a happy day. Every day. Like A.J. Moore, Jefferson Moore closed down in 1987. After the school was consolidated, along with two other high schools to form the current Waco High School. The two alums say that even though their beloved school is no more, its legacy will never be forgotten. It's still work to be done, but a lot of things have changed for the better. Since 1989, the A.J. Moore High School Alumni Association has given out scholarships to several young scholars here in our area. Now, if you're looking for more stories like these, we'll have our Black History Month special airing on Sunday at 8.30 a.m. In studio, I'm Jarrell Baker.